Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is we're actually going to capture an image in this tutorial. The bad news is there's still more episodes to come. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. As mentioned in the intro, we are going to be capturing an urge. And basically all we're going to be doing is setting up a capture request and feeding that into our camera capture session. Anyway, it's best that I show you how it's done instead of me just talking. So let's make a start. Okay, first thing we're going to do is... Um, tidy up, we're just going to clean up one of the resources that we didn't complete in the last tutorial and that's the image reader, so when we shut the application we just want to clean up the image reader okay, let me find that code first so it should be in the closed camera method so let's just clean up the uh, image reader resource if it's still left very similar to what we did with the camera device in the capture camera session. Close that and then make it null. Okay, next thing we want to do is we're going to add the surface of the image reader to the camera capture session. And so when we create the camera capture session down here, you can see the arrays as list. We've already added the preview service. We need to add our image reader surface. And let's call get surface on that. Okay, so the surface has now been added to our camera capture session. Okay, what I'm going to do now is create a new method for actually capturing the image. Um, I'll show, I think I'll call it capture still image. Okay, now I need to set up a cap, uh, capture request. Builder. And I'll just call it image uh, capture still builder. And we create that from the camera device and create camera capture request from the camera device. And here the request is going to be the template still, still capture, which means capturing an image. Okay, we need to put a, a try catch around that. Okay, once we've got our builder set up, we'll just call it and we add the target, which is going to be the image reader surface. Okay, so we've now set that up for our uh, capture request. Next thing I want to do, there is an issue with, uh, basically, there's an issue between the display what you see in your preview the orientation of the preview and a um, and the actual image itself the orientations are out of alignment so we need to fix that so I'm going to put a bit of code to fix that so we need to get the orientation of the display as such okay now I've got the orientation of the display what I'm going to have to create now is an array where um, I can realign the orientations, so to speak. So I'm just going to go to the top and I'll create my array above here. And it's going to be of a type. Bus interrate, 
and I'll call that orientations. I'll create a new object for that. If you can hear banging outside, I think that's fireworks, I hope. Okay, now I'm going to set up the um, members' items inside this array, um, inside a, a static build. Okay, so orientations, add it to the array, and it's going to be, we're going to get the surface type here, rotation zero, and then we're going to sort of um, set a new alignment for that this aligning for portrait mode of what I'm doing here. So, so, so as such. Now we need to do this three more times for the different orientations to get them fixed, so to speak. I wasn't expecting this. The explosions in the background, if you can hear that. Okay, 90, and this will now be zero. Couple more of these. And for 180, it needs to be set to 270. Sounds like a cannon going off right outside my room. And for 270, we make it 180. Okay, now we can now set this in our builder. Okay, it's going to be set and pass the camera capture request and JPEG orientation. And the values here are going to be the orientations we set up get with the rotation. And that should fix up hopefully any orientation problems you may have. Okay, now I want to create a capture camera session callback um, just to notify us when we've actually saved the image. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new one here. Capture callback. I'll just call it capture callback. And so when it's completed here, when it's basically completed, the image has been captured, I can unlock the focus again and be ready to take another image. Okay, so I can unlock focus. And I'm also going to put a toast because this tutorial is not quite completed. So this is a toast notification that was saved in the image. Because the image is not going to appear on my gallery yet. I need to do more coding and won't have enough time in this tutorial to do that. Okay, so the context, get application context. And text is, I'll just say, let's get rid of the autocomplete image. Captured, saved, whatever you want to put. Make that short length, and we want to show that. Okay, so as well as um, resetting ourselves to save another image, I'm just notifying us at this stage that we've actually saved the image. Right, now we need to set up our capture session. It's called the capture. Okay, so we're going to pass the uh, capture request builder or the capture request. The capture still builder and build that. So we've got a capture request. Next is we're going to be passing this here camera capture callback. And now I'm going to make the nut handler null here. The reason I'm doing that is because we're currently running in the background thread anyway. So when we call still image, it's going to be in the contents of the background thread. So I'm just calling it null run in the current thread, which is a background thread anyway. So that's why I'm just setting that 
as null. Okay, I think that's okay. And now I just need to call this camera still image. Let me see where I can call it from. So it's going to be called from camera capture session here. Okay, so once we've got the lock focus, it's focused, we'll then take the image, take the picture. So I'm going to comment out this code here. And then I'm going to call capture still image. Wait for those errors on the right to disappear, <laughs> which they have, I believe. Okay, that's it. The code's now set up, I believe, and it should work for capturing the image. Um, we, we set up the code in last week's tutorial series for that. Okay, uh, let's try running that and see what happens. Uh, let's record what's happening on the display. So you can see quite easily what's happening here. Uh, so camera started up here. I'm just going to take a photo of my computer. Image captured. Okay. Now, you might not believe me saying, oh yeah, but how do you know that you've captured an image? You don't have it displaying on your gallery. Okay, so I'm going to open up this ES File Explorer application here. And down at the very bottom here is the image I captured. I'll show it up in the browser. So here's the image that I captured. So uh, it's all above board. I have captured the image. I just haven't yet set that up for my gallery yet, which will be in the following tutorial as such. Okay. As with normal tutorials, because we've got a bit of code here, we're just going to put some breakpoints in here and debug what we've done here. So I'll put one for the capture still image. So once we've locked focus, we're going to call this method here. And we'll just put one in here and I'll just quickly talk through what's happened. So let's run debug. take a photo of a remote light okay we've gone into capture still image this happens once the image has been focused let's continue executing right so here we're going to create our camera request builder and in here we basically want to set up a request for capturing a still image from the camera device. And we, we add our target, we add the image reader surface to the target. Then we set up the rotation issues uh, by getting the current rotation of the display and then getting back the correct display for the image captured. Now we're creating our camera capture session callback. One thing for to notify us when the uh, image is actually being captured for the development part here. Another part is to unlock focus so we can take another image. And now we actually call capture with the session just to do a single image capture. With the camera, ca uh, the capture request we set up in this method and we're also feeding back the camera capture callback we create here and no null for the background handler because we're already running in the context of the background handler because this method here has been called on the background handler anyway it's been called from a um, uh, callback once the image has been focused and let's carry on executing and it uh, would have and I'll just remove these breakpoints and carry on executing that's it okay so it's not the end of the tutorial series you'll notice that we're not yet refreshing the image on the image gallery um, the reason for that is 
when we're running in this callback, it's running in the background context. Um, to refresh our image adapter, we need to do that on the main thread, the UI thread. So we need to do a bit of um, inter-thread communication there. So not enough time on this tutorial, we're getting close to 20 minutes. So I'll do that in the next tutorial of updating the image on the gallery as well. And then some people are saying, oh yeah, but when I press the image on the gallery, nothing's happening. I want that to be a full image. Fair enough, I'll probably add that to this tutorial as well. And so that's it for this tutorial. Um, remember, if you want to keep getting updates of these tutorials or updates of the other tutorials I've been working on this week as well, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That's all for this one. Bye for now.